that, lady. I like it. Since Lance is working today, I'm going to try to catch up on the garden. As you can see, just a minute here, it's really a mess. I normally have everything all cleaned up by this time of year. But we've been working in the cabin so much, we haven't had time. So I'm going to try to get a bed cleaned out for my sweet potatoes. I'm not going to put them in today because we're supposed to have hail tomorrow. But as you can see, I got my work cut out for me. It's a mess. I won't bore you with the details, but I'm going to get to work here. One bed weeded out and ready to go. It's ready for sweet potatoes. I'll probably go ahead and put them out even though it's a little early as soon as the storm blows past. There's my pear tree. It's almost done blooming. Thing goes crazy every year. Here's my row of peas, sugar snap peas, with a giant pile of weeds behind them. <laughs> Tell me that don't work. Look at that baby. We're down at least a foot and a half or lower.
first first try and it fit goodness I don't believe it I usually gotta pull it down a couple times <laughs> I cooked a turkey breast the other day and I deboned it. We're having some turkey for lunch, but I had the carcass left over. So I don't like to waste it. So I'm making a soup stock and some leftover onions, a couple carrots. This is vegetable cutting celery from my garden. It tastes just like celery, but it's kind of like an herb. Just throw that in there. Just a stick. And then some leeks from the garden. They make really good soup. Anyway, I'll let that cook a while while we're outside and then I'll strain all that out and put some more veggies in there to make the soup. I'm thinking I'll probably make rosemary chicken and rice soup. To walk down to my sister's and beg some rosemary. She's got a really nice rosemary bush. Mine's still pretty small. Anyway, that's what we're having for dinner. What we're doing this morning, we're gonna have to do a lock notch because you can see where my scribe line was. So we won't, we're way over halfway. So to make it stronger, we're gonna do a lock notch. So I kind of ground it off and now I rescribed it. This is my new scribe. And we ground this down a little bit because we had some big bumps on here, which it helped too. So what we've learned on the lock notch, we've never done one. This is the first one. We just set this here to raise up our, you got to get a level line, in other words, across here. And so we did that. Get your level. We marked the line across, which you can see. This line here is level. And do that on both sides, right? Yep, both sides. And so then, make your little dot, just right there where my scribe line and the level line intersect. Then, take your scribe that is was set originally you don't move it, you stick that on there, and then you move this down here to where your levels are on, and you put a dot. Let's make sure I get it right here. Right there. So now I got a dot right here. Let's put a little circle around it so we don't lose it. And we do that on the other side too. Let's go ahead and do it. We've never done this before, so this is something new. But if we don't fix it now, our next two logs are going to get worse. This also helps it to be stronger. Yeah. So now we're going to cut the notch, and we'll show you a little later what, how that works and how we're doing it. All right, now we're going to connect the dots. This is the lower log we're working on. This is a dot that we used with the scribe tool and got across, so you just draw a line across it. And then we come down three millimeter, about an eighth of an inch. What we're gonna do, below it. What's that for? clearance yeah that's got to have you got to have some clearance on there for when the log settles and all that so all right now we'll do the same thing on the other side after we square it up we just want to square it up and this thing's square this plastic template it's the only thing we got flexible to follow it close i try squares kind of It'd probably work, but we're just gonna lay that right there on that. 
Go right about there. Actually, let's go to the bottom one because I got a rounded point on here. That way that'll be straight all the way up. All right. The bottom one on that one. All right. We'll do this same thing on the other side. What you can't see, unless you walk around and we'll film it. It's okay, I think they got the picture. You got the picture. And then you join them across on the top? Yep. Hopefully they match. I about to say that, sorry. <laughs> Dropping down three millimeters on that side too, right? Yep, for clearance. Not clearance, but clearance. Three millimeters. I know how much an eighth of an inch is, so I'm going to go like that right there. Oh, we forgot to measure in 15 millimeters. No. We have big, it. big mistake. Don't do that. Yeah, this is supposed to go in 15 <laughs> millimeters. <laughs> oh! Which, 15 to 30, so we're going to go, what, three quarters of three an inch? Three quarters of an inch. Can you tell we haven't ever done this? We kind of messed up there, didn't we? Well, at least we did it before we cut it. Exactly. Three quarter. Don't forget this. This is the main mistake they say everybody makes. Yep. We almost did it. My wifey had to have been here. I would have been in trouble. Okay. Come in three quarter on this side. Boom. Boom. Then you draw your straight edge up. You know one thing nice about this? I'll never see that from the house. <laughs> it's like 180 feet that way. We can sand it off. <laughs> well, that won't show anyway later. Yeah, I know. Because it'll cover it. Yeah. Straight line, straight there. But if we'd have cut the notch that big, it would have not been good. We would have just cried. I know, because we would have <laughs> run two logs. So don't do that. No, you guys don't do that. Let's repeat. Don't do that. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, let's repeat. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. We're almost ready to cut this. Looky, lucky. I'm going to put a deal across the top. Not exactly even. Not exactly. Well, that's probably normal because it's wider and narrower and stuff. the log's different? Yeah, I would think. Okay. All I gotta do is cut it. But you can still draw a line because you're gonna have to figure out where you're gonna go with it, so. Just we will get down to the other one. Make sure you go to the right one. There's only one on the other side. Okay. We didn't mess up over there. Okay. Like we did here. Huh. That's weird. That's really crooked, isn't it? I hope that works. <laughs> well, that's it's got to be right. That's where our scribe went to. Yeah. The first time. Well, that log is crooked on the end. That's probably why it's doing that. Uh, Remember, yeah. It sweeps to the it right. Sweeps. Yeah. sweeps to the right. So that's why it's doing that. Okay. So we should be okay. We'll find out here. All right. So we cut that, and then we'll have to cut the bottom one and mark it, right? Yep. I mean the top one, sorry. Yep. The top log. We're going to get this cut, and then we'll go down to the other one to show you guys.
right now we're getting ready to cut the top log. He's scoring it on the line so they don't split out. And you can do that with a chisel too if you want. another quarter of an inch for clearance from the top here. Yeah, he's talking about like right here. That's the scriber. They call it scriber relief. Uh, so when the logs shrink a little bit, they can kind of slide down and still stay tight. You do that even on a regular notch. You probably don't want to straddle the board if you just <laughs> cut your cleaned femoral, it. Cut your femoral artery. No, I was oh. thinking more sappy. Oh, okay. Sappy legs. <laughs> this is true. Of course, femoral artery would not be good either. I'd be <sighs> more worried about cutting your artery. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh oh. normal notch he would cut all the way to the to the line that he's got right there but on the lock notch this he's only going to cut let's see I don't know if you can see it there we go he's only going to cut to this line right here right now All right, we're ready. You want to come up here go around you come up here Andy. Andy had to come up here and see what was going on we'll have a floor someday Andy, and it'll be nice you can, you can walk on it okay he likes the hill. nope don't go out there don't go out on the beams okay let's get this a little closer look at that i didn't get to my lines that's good that's good Mark on my three quarter inch. He said to go up the wall in here. I did the same thing on this side. Let's go ahead and do that right here. All right. I'm gonna draw a straight line across there. That's gonna work. I'm 
All right. Now what we're gonna do, this piece here is coming out all the way to our scribe line. That'll come out three quarters deep. Or if you're using millimeters, anywhere from 15 to 30. Yeah. But you have to do it the same as what you did the other one. Yeah. Whatever you decide on. Yeah. So that's coming out with the X's. So I've already scribed this, so I'm ready to cut it. You don't want to go too deep, it'll come There's out. A line. Just don't go past that. Hole. Well, they they like stayed up above it a ways and then finished it mm -hmm. from the side. Yeah. Andy, get back. Get back. Move. Oh. afternoon and I strained out everything and you can see it just kind of disintegrates and I forgot to tell you earlier that I usually put the juice of a lemon in it as well it kind of helps to make it more like a bone broth and after I strained it I added a couple big sprigs of rosemary and some more carrots And I also had some leftover mashed potatoes that I threw in there just to thicken it up a bit. The rice will thicken it up some more. I leave the rosemary on the stalk so that I can taste it. And when it tastes strong enough, I can take it out. Rosemary's pretty strong. Now I'm gonna cut up the turkey and put the rice in. As soon as the rice gets going good, I'll throw the turkey in as well. And maybe some peas. And then we'll have supper. Can you look in there? Huh? That looks good. Rosemary chicken and rice soup. Well, that smells gummy. My sister made some homemade bread and brought us a loaf over, so that'll be awesome with it. Thank you, Susan.
stick the blade between it, that means it's snug. You think? Oh yeah. Well, that would be very good. That's nice. That's a pretty log, even if it was a little That's bendy. Nice. It was a little bendy, but it was pretty. It's a little bendy. <laughs> All right. Screw that puppy down. Tell it's got a curve right at the very end of it. Curve. It's good, huh? Thanks for the care. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. Is it good? Oh my goodness or bad? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Got a little insulation sticking out. All right. Another one. Row seven is finished. Row seven? Row seven is finished. Ready for row eight. All right. Well, guys, we're on our eighth row. I think. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Eighth row. Getting ready to f finish that one. That'll be the eighth. And the next log will be number nine, and it's going to be 35, 36 feet long. It's going to go out over the the uh, porch, and then one more will go on top of that the same length. And, of course, we'll start along the front here uh, after the eighth one. That'll start being our gable, closing, closing the end in. All right, so that's where we're at right now. But uh, it's way over my head. <laughs> and so we're done for the day. Got a Bible class I got to go to. And uh, looking forward to that. So anyway, let me shoot you a picture of the outside. We've been having to power wash a lot of these because they've been sitting for a while. But anyway, there it is. She's turning out good.